Old Man and the Sea, written by Ernest Miller Hemingway, an American novelist, short story writer, journalist, and sportsman. His economical and understated style, which he termed the iceberg theory, has a strong influence on 20th century fiction. While his adventurous lifestyle and his public image brought his admiration from later generations. So, who was Ernest Hemingway in literature? You know, think about it. Uh, Ernest Hemingway is a Nobel Prize winner and he is seen as one of the great American 20th century novelists and is known for works like A Farewell to Arms and The Old Man and the Sea. He is two very high level ke masterpiece. Hai. और इनको लिटरेचर में अर्डिक्स अर्निस्ट हेमिंगवे का ये आप समझ लें कि इसके काम का इंट्रोडक्शन है ये दो नॉवेल्स इसके अलावा भी इसने काफ़ी नॉवेल्स लिखे हैं अर्निस्ट हेमिंगवे सर्वड इन वर्ल्ड वॉर वन एंड वर्कड इन जर्नलिज्म बिफोर पब्लिशिंग हिस्टोरी कलेक्शन इन आवर टाइम ही वॉज रिनाउन फॉर नावल्स लाइक द सन ऑल्सो राइज अ फेयरवेल टू आर्म्स फॉर होम द बेल्ट टॉल्स इन द ओल्ड मैन इन द सी An old man in the sea uh, is the is the only novel which won him uh, uh, Pulitzer uh, Prize in nineteen fifty three, or up here nineteen fifty four. May he won the Nobel Prize uh, for this novel, and uh, later on in his uh, life on nineteen sixty one, in uh, he committed suicide, uh, and uh, he finished his life with his. own hands now come to the novel the old man and the sea uh is a short uh, heroic novel by ernest hemingway published in 1952 and awarded the 1953 pulitzer prize for fiction in cheezon ko na apne finger tips pe yaad rakhna hai theek hai taaki aap se kisi kism ka koi bhi sawal pucha jaye to aapko in basic cheezon ke bare mein pata ho it was his uh, last major work of fiction The story centers on an aging fisherman who gets engaged in an epic battle to catch a giant marlin. के दो लाइनों में अगर आप इस नावल के बारे में अगर आपसे कोई पूछे तो ये क्या है? ये एक स्टोरी है फिशरमैन की जो एक एपिक स्ट्रगल में अपने आप को इन्वॉल्व करता है और वो स्ट्रगल क्या होती है? He wants to catch a big marlin fish. इसका प्लॉट ओवरव्यू देखते हैं. प्लॉट बेसिकली सीक्वेंस ऑफ द स्टोरी और इवेंट्स या इंसिडेंट्स उसमें किस सीक्वेंस में होते हैं ठीक है इसको प्लॉट कहते हैं तो uh, इसके प्लॉट में आप सिंपली इसका मैं आपको एक सनोपसिस दूंगी शॉर्ट समरी भी इसको आप कह सकते हैं द ओल्ड मैन द सी इज़ द स्टोरी ऑफ एन एपिक स्ट्रगल बिटवीन एन ओल्ड सीजनड फिशर मैन एंड द ग्रेटेस्ट कैच ऑफ हिज लाइफ दो चीज़ों पे एक ओल्ड मैन कूद है और दूसरा उसकी वो फिश है जिसको वो पकड़ना चाहता है दिस स्टोरी रिवॉल्व अराउंड टू कैरेक्टर्स एंड फॉर एटी फोर डेज सेंटियागो एन एजड क्यूबन फिशरमैन हैज सेट आउट टू सी एंड रिटर्न एम्प्टी हैंडेड सो कॉन्सपीशियसली अनलकी ही इज दैट द पेरेंट्स ऑफ हिज यंग डिवोटेड अप्रेंटिस एंड फ्रेंड मैनुअल अप्रेंटिस होता है शागिर्द जो होता है हैव फोर्स द बॉय टू लीव द ओल्ड मैन इन ऑर्डर टू फिश इन अ मोर प्रॉस्परस बोट दैट दे आर विलिंग टू सेंड देयर बॉय टू सम अदर बोट मैन सो दैट ही कैन अर्न समथिंग आउट ऑफ इट क्योंकि सेंटियागो के पास तो कुछ भी नहीं है देने के लिए नेवर दी लेस द बॉय कंटिन्यूज टू केयर फॉर द ओल्ड मैन अपॉन हिज रिटर्न हीच नाइट ही हैव्स द ओल्ड मैन Uh, to uh, get his gear and his uh, ramshackle hut, uh, secures food for him, uh, and discusses the latest developments in American baseball, especially the trials of the old man's hero, uh, Joey DiMaggio. Um, uh, Santiago is confident that his unproductive streak will soon come to an end, and he resolves to sail out further than usual the following day. On the eighty-fifth day of his unlucky streak, Santiago does a promised sailing his skiff far beyond the island shallow. 
coastal waters and venturing into the Gulf Stream. He prepares his lines and drops them. At noon, a big fish, which he knows is a marlin, takes the bait that Santiago has placed one under uh, one hundred for them deep in the waters. The old man expertly hooks the fish, but he cannot pull it in. Uh, instead, the fish begins to pull the boat. Unable to tie the line fast to the boat for fear, the fish would snap a taut line. The old man bears the uh, strain of the line which, with his shoulders. The fish pulls the boat all through the day, through the night, through another day and through another night. It swims steadily northwest until at last it tries and swims east with the current the entire time Santiago endures constant pain from the fishing line whenever the fish uh, lunges leaps or makes a dash for freedom the cord cuts Santiago badly all the wounded and weary the old man feels a deep empathy and admiration for the marlin his brother in suffering on the third day, the fish dries and Santiago, sleep deprived, aching, and nearly derelict, manages to pull the marlin in close enough to kill it with a harpoon thrust. Uh, dead beside the skiff, the marlin is the largest Santiago has ever seen. He lashes it to the post, uh, boat and raises the small mast and sets sail for the home. As Santiago sails on with the fish. The marlin's blood leaves a trail in the water and attracts uh, attracts sharks. The old man uh, fights off the um, predators, vicious predators, as best he, as he can, stabbing at them with a crude spear he makes by lashing a knife to an oar and even clubbing them with the boat's tiller. Although he kills several sharks, more and more appear, and by the time night falls, Santiago is continued to fight against the um, uh, sharks. They devour the marlin's precious meat, leaving only skeleton, head, and tail. Sari fish The next morning, a crowd of amazed fishermen gathers around the skeletal carcass of the fish. Because old man who is in his hut is going to the uh, fish ko uh, uska skeleton jo hota hai aisa hi wo boat ke sath banda rehta hai which is still uh, 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 usko dekh ke log bade hairan hote hain knowing nothing of the old man's struggle tourist at a nearby cafe observe the remains of the giant marlin and mistake it for a shark marlin who has been worried um, about the old man's absence is moved to tears when he finds santiago safe in his bed and uh, the boy fetches the old man some coffee and the daily papers with the baseball scores and watches him sleep. And the old man wakes. The two agrees to fish as partners once more. The old man returns to sleep and dreams his usual dreams of loins at play on the beaches of Africa. So, you have to the main points. The old man in the sea is a story of an epic struggle. Okay. Uh, between an old seasoned fisherman and the greatest catch of his life uh, uh, on 84 day without success Santiago an aged Cuban fisherman sets out to sea and returns empty handed uh, the old man used to be accompanied by a boy who is no more with him because of his failure but the boy truly respects him and cares for him on uh, one day on his venture to the sea he expectedly Hooks the fish, but he cannot put pull it in. Instead, the fish begins to pull the boat. The great tear in the marlin's flesh releases the fish blood and uh, uh, sent into the water, attracting packs of shovel-nosed sharks with whatever equipment remains on board. Santiago repeatedly fights off the uh, packs of these uh, sharks, and uh, eventually the sharks pick the marlin clean defeated santiago reaches shore and beaches the skiff alone in the dark he looks back at the marlin skeleton in the reflection from the speed light and then scumbles home to his shack falling face down onto his cord in exhaustion many of the assessment ke liye, um, kuch, uh, question short questions jo hai, wo description mein 
अपलोड किए हैं ठीक है वो इसलिए हैं ताकि आप लेसन पूरा इस लेक्चर को सुने और उसके बाद आप उसमें जो क्वेश्चन हैं उनके आंसर दें ताकि आपकी बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग हो और साथ में जो कोटेशन हैं वो भी मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल दूँगी